Today, I wanna to show you some of the best outfits I've seen this summer so far. As usual, I'll talk you through each outfit and explain to you why I like it and why I think it works. I'll also do my best to leave links to the actual pieces we're looking at in these outfits. Or at least I'll try and find something similar in case you wanna try these looks out for yourself. I've got the outfits up on my phone, so I'll be looking at the screen from time to time, but let's get into it. The first outfit is from a Mr. B Thompson on Instagram and it looks like his full name is Brandon Thompson and he's based out of Atlanta. The first thing that jumped out at me about this fit was definitely the loafers. I'm always super interested when someone is able to style loafers so well. They're a great shoe to have in the collection but sometimes they can be a little bit tricky to get into an outfit. These particular ones are the penny loafers from Amelion Dor in the black and white leather. As you would expect, they're completely sold out, so you're probably gonna have to pay resale if you want this exact pair. But there's plenty of other brands doing very similar ones, so you can still get that look and for cheaper. Obviously, the quality might not be there though, so keep that in mind. The tank top he's wearing is also from Amelion Dor. Honestly, I wouldn't spend too much on a tank top. I'm sure the quality is on point and it looks great in this fit. But that sort of white rib knit tank top can be bought from weekday or Uniqlo for a fraction of the price and it'll look exactly the same. The trousers look great, especially the way he styled them up around the waist. They've got a relaxed silhouette, but you can tell they fit him well because he doesn't need to wear a belt to hold them up. These are from Suit Supply, which isn't a brand I'm familiar with, and they look to be the sand pleated duka or ducka trousers. To be fair, they do look really well made and have some nice details like the overlap button closure and the after dinner split on the sides to make them looser, which is a really nice touch. If you just want the look though, these sorts of trousers are extremely easy to come by these days. I've had great success with H&M suits recently, so worth taking a look if you are on a budget. The shirt he's wearing is also from Suit Supply. I can't find the exact one, but it's almost certainly linen, judging by the texture. Even though it's a long sleeve, he won't be overheating due to that linen material. It's nice to see one in black as well. People, including myself, tend to pick up linen clothes in white and beige only. My personal favourite shirt at the moment, if you want to save a bit of money, is the premium linen shirt from Uniqlo. Finally, on top is the second thing that stood out to me due to the pop of colour, and it's that green Yankees cap. It's almost certainly the Amelion Dor one but you definitely don't have to splash out on that. Just get a regular New York Yankees cap in green for much less, and you'll basically have the same cap without ALD embroidered on the side. I do love how it pulls this whole outfit together though, effortlessly mixing classics with streetwear. The next fit is from one of my favorite YouTubers, Drew Joyner. He's got a talent for putting outfits together with what I would consider loud or standout pieces. Usually when people try this, it can look like a mess, but he has a way of making it look so naturally good. Starting on feet, he has the Collegium Pillar Mock Toe Derbies in this beautiful terracotta color. This is their reimagination of the mock toe and they've done a seriously nice job. I can't think of anything else quite like this shoe, especially because of the color of the suede and the black sole. So it's gonna be hard to think of a similar alternative if you can't get your hands on these exact ones. But you can definitely get the same vibes just by wearing a suede mock toe or the Clark's Wallabies. The jeans he's wearing are the Sugarcane Okinawa jeans, I believe. If you saw my video last week, you'll see I've been flirting with the idea of raw denim and salvage, and I'm pretty close to going down that rabbit hole. These Okinawa jeans sound wild. They're 14 ounce, so pretty heavy, and cut to the same silhouette as the 1947 Levi's 501s. So they've got a high rise and a straight relaxed leg. The patch on the back is also made from python leather, which I didn't even know was a thing. These jeans are hefty in price though, so my go-to alternative would be the Uniqlo Salvage jeans, which I've been wearing a lot this year. On top, he's gone with the Pillar Camp shirt, also from Collegium. I've done an entire video dedicated to these open-knit crochet shirts, 
So go watch that if you're interested. But the short of it is you need to get one of these shirts for summer. They're so flowy and cool in the sun and they look great. This one seems to be sold out, unfortunately, but a lot of brands are making them at the moment. So just take your pick. He's accessorized with the brew hat from Story MFG. This sort of bucket hat is not my style whatsoever, but I can fully appreciate when someone styles it well like Drew has here. These seem to be made of a crochet knit using cotton yarn. I'm not too sure how they would feel in the heat because cotton yarn is pretty fluffy and heavy. But then again, because of the open crochet knit, it's probably super airy as well. I can't think of any other brands making these sorts of hats in such a tasteful way. So Story MFG are gonna be the ones to go to for this. Overall, as I said, this outfit is a mixture of standout pieces and pieces you might even associate with colder days, like the jeans and the hat, but it completely works and I love it. I don't know if you can hear outside, it's literally hailing. <laughs> uh, that's a British summer for you. All right, this next outfit introduces a little bit more color, which I really like. This is from the user on Instagram whose name I am absolutely about to butcher, so apologies, but I would go with Obed Dagnon. Obviously the first thing that sprung out to me here were those pants. These are the gyro abstract crepe trousers from Nanushka. Nanushka are a brand based out of Budapest and they have tons of nice stuff. I've had my eye on a few pieces for quite a while now but because they are designer it can get a little bit pricey. But these pants look insanely nice with that abstract stripe pattern. It almost looks like tie-dye, and I absolutely love the rope belt detail. They're made from a lightweight cotton, so they're gonna be great for summer. And honestly, there aren't many alternatives to these if you want a cheaper option, unfortunately. On feet, he's got the Clark's collab with Sweet Chick. They call them the Waffle Bee Boots. They're basically a mid-top version of the Wallabies. They have some nice details, which you can't quite see in the Instagram post. On top, he's gone for a crochet shirt, but in this dark orange color. He doesn't say where this exact one is from, but it's such a nice pairing with the color of those pants. You can see it has a very open knit and also a very boxy fit. So it's wide across the chest and shorter in length. There's plenty of brands making crochet shirts like this though, so it should be easy to find an alternative. Underneath, he's gone with a tank top, and I think this look could have worked with or without one. If I wasn't traveling too far, I probably wouldn't wear one. But if I was out and about, I'd definitely go with a tank top because that crochet shirt is a little see-through due to that open weave. Overall, this is just a comfortable looking fit with some killer details and colors. The final outfit is gonna be from Raymond LA, is how I would guess you'd pronounce that. You know I had to get at least one fit into this video containing jorts. Next to the crochet shirt, they're the most popular item this summer. The ones he's wearing here are super unique though. They're called the flap jorts from the brand Newest Normal, who seem to be based out of Germany. On the face of it, they look like a nice heavyweight denim with that classic baggy knee length fit, such as the curved sewn on flaps, which adds a lot of interest and really makes the shorts pop. They've also tried something different with the back pocket positioning, putting them on the sides rather than in the middle. This allows them to keep that wavy design throughout the jorts. On feet, he has the Bottega Veneta puddle boots. Similar to the loafers in the first fit, I love to see people styling boots like these, especially in summer because it's not the type of footwear you'd typically think of going for. I do think this look could work with a lot of different black boots though, so just take your favorite pick. Also, the white socks popping out of the top is a crucial little detail just to keep the outfit casual. On top, he has this super minimal white t-shirt from the brand OBS. They look to be based out of Germany as well. They seem to make really high quality basics and a lot of their stuff is made in Germany as well, which is really nice to see. I do like the look of that t-shirt. It's slightly oversized in the body with a smaller fitting collar. Over that, he has a white shirt but unfortunately he hasn't tagged where it's from. It's the kind of shirt you can find in a lot of places though, so I'll definitely be able to find something similar for you. It looks to be a white smooth cotton and has a boxy fit to it. It has that same shape as the shirt I cropped in one of my recent videos. So if you want to save some money, go out and buy a vintage white short sleeved shirt and just crop it yourself. The cap he's wearing is from Bon Nui Studio. 
I believe this brand is actually owned by IC Cop, who runs the Unknown Vlogs channel. He's one of the first channels I remember seeing who goes out and interviews people on the street, asking them what they're wearing. So if you like these kinds of videos, you'll definitely enjoy his content. But this is just a nice minimal branded cap. And along with the shorts and boots, it's a nice contrast to that white on white top layer. Black and white fits are always going to work, especially when you have high quality basics like this. So there's my favorite outfits of the summer so far. There weren't actually a lot of outfits with shorts in this video, which was a little surprising. But I think that's because people are starting to realize you don't have to strip off in summer to stay cool. You can still wear trousers or long sleeve tops as long as you're wearing lighter weight materials or something with an open weave. Also, we are still quite early into summer, so perhaps I'll do another video when we're really getting into the heat and we'll see how everyone's reacting with their outfits. Do let me know if you plan on trying any of these outfit ideas from today's video. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.